All right, I thought I'd make a video about this. Um, I made a few upgrades to the shop here, and uh, um, I've got a few new pieces of equipment, and um, I finally had the time to actually sit down and, and pick out a few pieces that I wanted. Um, now that I seem to be getting a little bit more back into this uh, hobby, um, designing circuits and, and tuning uh, oscillators and stuff, and you know playing around with a few different things. Uh, I had some an old, well, a, a frequency counter that's not that old, but it's a few years old. It's a um, a VC three one six five. If you're planning on getting a frequency counter stay away from this thing it's a piece of shit uh, this thing is not accurate it takes forever to count it's all over the place it has it's kind of buggy it gives erroneous readings every once in a while it, I just can't stand this thing I'm ready to just drop kick it out my window um, it's it's horrible it's horrible 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 if you're gonna spend a hundred dollars on this thing uh, or roughly a hundred dollars on this thing you might as well spend an extra 50, 60, 70 dollars and get yourself a nice used HP. This is a model 5384A and this has the I think the 004 option so it's, you got the ovenized crystal. Um, this was I got this as a great deal on eBay. Um, usually you can't find these with the ovenized crystal in them. Uh, usually you'll have to get the uh, 85A I believe that has it and it's much more expensive I got this for under two hundred dollars it was a score and uh, so you just gotta keep your eye out uh, with that stuff and this was my old function generator I made a video previously about this and it, it served its purpose it's nice for the beginner to play around but uh, if you want something with a little bit more precision uh, I would highly suggest this O1 AG2052F. Um, not cheap, uh, but it is beautiful and it works very well. Um, and I also got a, also on eBay, is a Hewlett Packard E3610A DC power supply. Good for 0 to 8 volts, 0 to 3 amp range. And on the other range, it is 0 to 15. Um, 0 to 15, 0 to 2 amps. Very nice supply. I love this thing. I have a big boy version of this down here. Uh, this is a HP 6034A, and uh, this is good for about 10 amps, and it basically does the same thing. Between those two, um, I can pretty much test anything here in the shop. Uh, if I got any big stuff I need to test, I'll have to just grab a big linear supply out of the out of the basement and and uh, use that. But um, well, this is nice. It's nice to have uh, a few nice uh, items in the shack here. And here is a also a kind of a off-brand type of thing. I didn't want to spend too much money on a multimeter, but surprisingly, these things went for about four or five hundred dollars on Amazon and a few different places. You get them on. Uh, on eBay for around that price, uh, you can find them anyway for around two hundred to four hundred dollars. Uh, it's it's nice. It works. I mean, all the functions work on it. It's pretty accurate. But I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I scored this one for fifty one dollars on eBay. Uh, to me, that's a steal. Uh, that was a good deal. So uh, keep your eyes out, and uh, you might score some decent used equipment. I mean, it's not Hewlett Packard or anything, but it's, uh, you know, it's some off-brand China-made RSR. Uh, I think it's, uh, um, there's a, it goes under a couple of names. It, this is an MS58, uh, is it, no, MS8050 digital multimeter. It goes under a couple of different names, like Simon or something, or, or I can't remember, but uh, yeah, so if you keep your eye out on eBay, you can score some nice equipment. Um, some people sometimes people don't really know what they're selling, like that one with the, the ovenized oscillator. Uh, this thing should have went for over three hundred and something, three hundred fifty dollars used. And I'll tell you, this thing is bang on cal. Um, I basically zero beaded this um, 
function generator to WWV at 10 megahertz. It's slightly off by what it's tuned to, but it's exactly zero beaded with WWV. And I had to recal this piece of junk, and it's still a hurt, uh, 100 hertz off, I believe. Um, uh, I don't know. I just can't stand this stupid thing. Yeah, I open it up. It's a joke in there. It just, just get rid of it. If you have one, sell it. I'm planning on getting rid of this thing soon. But um, so I got a 10 megahertz um, signal coming out of here, uh, zero beta with WWV, and uh, I mean this thing is 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 pretty much right on. So it doesn't require a cal. You know, so I mean, this is perfect enough for me to to, to tune reference oscillators and and uh, some ham radio gear. This thing was a nightmare. Every time I try to tune a ham radio oscillator with this thing, yeah, right. You might as well just uh, uh, pull your hair out and uh, and burn it because it's it's not going to work for you. You're just going to make yourself very unhappy. Well, all right. Well, uh, have a good night, and, uh, and we'll catch you in the other uh, next video. So, if you like what you see here and you like my videos, subscribe, comment below. Thank you.